pornography, you anger me because you hate my gender, see? And feminism means to me a sense of solidarity. So when you call her bitch and whore, you're calling me the same and more. My mother, my sister, my beautiful girl, we're all affected by the hate in your world. Pornography, you're dead to me. I watch you now and all I see. is the hurt you cause, the misery, the sexual abuse, the agony. Sex is fun, we all know that. So why do you make it into combat? I get the point about sexual expression, but not when it means gender oppression. Your industry coerces, manipulates and cons women and men to fulfill your wrongs. You discard the human wreckage of stars who wear forever their physical scars. You objectify, dehumanize, and then go on to capitalize. Pornography, it's time to question, what is the impact of your aggression? The internet has helped to spread the reach of your proposition. And handheld devices provide ubiquitous transmission. To the younger amongst us who in their swarms are slowly developing entirely new norms of what to expect in relationships or how they should even get their kicks of what is a woman and what is her purpose. If not to please men, of what else her worth is. We don't yet know the impact of this increased exposure to this narrow-minded, inexact, plasticized disclosure of a misogynistic worldview where women are just sex toys. We don't yet know what it will do to our young girls and our young boys. We could argue forever about whether there's a link between your twisted endeavors and those who push the brink of legality and crime but we are wasting our time. We could also move that taste is the main contention. That your artistic pursuit is just a little left of convention. But anyone with eyes and a backlit screen must surely surmise, scene after violent scene. That a camera doesn't make artistic what is elsewhere in life considered sadistic. And then there is the consent issue that people get drawn into. That grown adults sign up for this. They make a lot of dough from it. When consent assumes that there is choice, it relies on having a resounding voice. And neither of these are in great supply for those who give your call a reply. But if we take the position that your message is pure hate, that your very ambition is to openly equate. Masculine with power and feminine the reverse. A pretty to look at flower, but ultimately a curse. Then an internet ban is not the key. It won't do enough. It's your entire industry that we really need to snuff. But first of all, we all must share an open conversation. Forget the shame and stigma and the righteous indignation. Because all that serves to achieve is keep your tyranny under wraps. When we should air our grievances, and then maybe perhaps, we might just pierce the veil and help everyone to see. Your sick and sordid tale of hate and misogyny.